this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have not primed, but it came primed from the store. So these are my two shovels. They came from the dollar store with a bucket. This is my thumbnail where I have make little tiny sketches of shapes. And I want to do this, this cross with more lines. So I'm just going to do that with the sidewalk chalk. And I want it to be offset somewhat. Just to give me an idea. Blow away any chips. And start. So I've got an Oxo omelet turning flip and fold spatula. I think I wanted it in this large part first. I am going to use a bunch of things. I'm a color art affiliate, so I'm going to use some Chantilly lace. And I really thought about maybe a little more. I really thought about putting everything into a shovel and trying that. But if I spread the Chantilly lace, it's going to make it really hard for anything to stick, so I'm going to have to mix it in. So I really want to do this experiment. So let's just do that this first time at least. And hopefully I can catch it before it starts to set up too badly. Although I am putting on a really thin coat. Maybe I should have gone with the pinks instead. Maybe I should change my mind right now before I get any further involved in this. Because I know the jasmine and poinsettia that I'm thinking about using are capable of overcoming so there's my mostly covered, quickly drying, and I just put my spatula down on some orange paint that I should not have done. Okay, so let's do the shovel thing. I've got some plum blossom, which is a primary element, some jasmine, which is a primary element. I've got some Tarnished Rose, which is a Vivid Intense, I don't know, I think it's just a Vivid Intense, not a Vivid Intense Fluorescent. It's evidently plugged. So in that case, I just pull off the top, give myself a good squeeze. That's a funny color. I'm never going to get quite used to that. I'm going to use some um, Red Violet Fluorescent. Let's see if I can get the poinsettia to come out. Poinsettia is very dark right now. And I think I'm going to offset that with a little bit of Lovey Pink. Poinsettia is a uh, prison pour. And Lovey Pink is a primary element. The idea was to put enough paint in the spatula <laughs> to spread it around, but I guess this is the way it's going right now. And I can always add more paint. Put, I Did I say paint? Put paint in a spatula? Paint, put paint in a shovel. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. might work, no matter how clumsy I was at doing it. I might still want to do something like add some saffron though. I don't think I mind how the Chantilly lace wound up turning the background. It makes me want to do the turquoise next. I love these spatulas. They carry a nice blade of paint. I'm always talking about it. And if you had a long enough wait time, you could probably blend them right in place. I'm going to knock a little paint off along the edge. 
go back again one more time. I kind of want to do what I said I was going to do and grab some either saffron or orange crush. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of my spatula on the paint that's already there. Makes me want some pink diamond too. Alright, so that's saffron and orange crush. I almost put another color in there. Yeah, and it just decided where it was going to go all by itself. So that's kind of cool. I like that. We're just changing up the colors. And you see I've got a filament hanging off. Use the rest of that paint over here. Looks very contemporary art. I'm going to dig down in canvas and grab some of that paint and spread it around a little more because I like the way the, the combination looks. And whatever I've got on my spatula is going to go right on that edge right now. And that's just about enough. I'm going to scrape it right off, wipe it off. I'm going to wipe it right down the edge with my finger. And we had the perfect amount of paint. Wow, that's lucky. <laughs> All right, I really like that. But I'm going to wipe off my spatula so I don't have to carry it over. I am thinking that I really like the idea of some Royal Sapphire, but I'm going to use some of my Frostbite, just like I use the Chantilly Lace. It has a little ultramarine blue in it. I don't think that's going to make any difference. Let's throw, I've got some uh, Frosted that I put um, Magenta in, Vivid Intense Magenta, Ultramarine Blue, and Dioxazine Purple. And I didn't shake it up, but it is basically the base color, so I probably should have. So let's just move that around for right now, mix it right on the canvas. I'm leaving the lines in between because I'm planning on putting other colors in there, but I don't think it would matter if I had this color moved all the way in now. I kind of like that actually. So let's just see what we can get out of the residual of my bottle of Royal Sapphire. And since I'm here and I originally planned to use some Fandango, I'm going to do that too. Hopefully it's not going to be a bad idea. And I see there's a few things in there I'm going to have to take out. I like the ombre, the stripey ombre look. I'm not sure what's going to go in between, but it could be any amount of colors that I stripe my spatula with. I am being called to... Boy, I want to be careful. Cerulean blue and a little indigo violet. I guess I'm trial and error. What do I really want there? I want um, not that. You know what? I've got <laughs> I've got too many choices. I want some phthalo turquoise. Phthalo turquoise. That's a Vivid Intense. Got paint chips on my fingers. So it looks like a similar scenario that I have maybe enough paint on my blade with my spatula. Those are my tweezers that I'm using that are on my Amazon link which is under show more on the link tree 
And on my Amazon link you're going to find my two books because I can in Unlimited Possibilities. They're the first and the second hundred videos I made while I was just learning how to pour. Now there is GAC 800 by Golden. It could leave my paint heavy, but I think I would rather not. I also kind of don't mind those marks, although I am getting rid of them right now. And I'm thinking to myself that I really like the red violet in there and I don't mind mixing it up with the color that's on my spatula so I might try that and I might also use some indigo violet which is what I'm being called to I thought I'd do this now so I could not have to wrestle with sticky paint where's that indigo violet Let's put some right on the spatula so I can get a nice thin line as long as I pick the right side. Sometimes I'm dyslexic and I pick the wrong side. There, I like that. Now I'm going to knock my spatula off like I said it was. I don't know if, I don't know if there's enough paint, but there's nearly enough paint. Never happy when I go to do this and I've got paint chips on my fingers and then I can't do a good job. But there is enough paint on my spatula to do this. I'm thinking purple next. Right here. Which would leave the oranges. Maybe purple here. I think better here than there. So what am I going to use? I'm going to use some Love You Pink again, if I can. And I'm going to try and go with a little less, although I'm not sure why that's, that's an appealing idea to me. I'm going to throw a little bit of, of jasmine in there. I kind of want to take some of that right now. Before it gets any stickier, like I said. I've got sour, that was saffron. This is sour lemon. With orange crush added to it. I'm focused. I'm going to have to wipe that off because I don't want that in the purple. Yeah, I just did that with my finger. So I've got a little bit more could see some purple through the blade of my spatula. I was really nervous it was going to wind up in there. All right, I'm going to take that paint, put it right there. I'm trying to get the hang of this so I don't wind up working with glop anywhere, which means I better hurry. I'm going to use the indigo violet. I decided against going back to the shovel. That's just the way it goes. I think if I had filled it up the first time I probably would have had either too much paint or... Okay, I know that I put down, yes, the African Violet, which is a fantastic color. But I want something purple, more purple. I think the Red Violet will mix really well in there. I guess we'll find out. But I kind of want some Snapdragon too. The Red Violet uh, vivid Intense Fluorescent Snapdragon is a prism pour. Excuse me, my mistake. It's a primary element. What have I got? I've got Aubergine, which is gorgeous, and I'm about to give myself too much paint. But I want some of that. Purple. 
probably better too much than not enough. Now tomorrow after this is dry, if I wanted to go back and add some some dramatic lines, I could certainly do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to give it a shot to get as close as I can. And I'm going to wish I had a little bit more paint, even though I said I had too much. And every time I pull the spatula down through it, it exposes some of the colors that I started with. I could just throw a caution to the winds and pull some of that orange right over. I don't think it's a bad thing, to tell you the truth. I'm going to take my scrape off my spatula, put a bead of paint on there, and squish it right into the crack. I don't know what that is, but it's got to go. <laughs> Do I want something else? I kind of want to add some red violet. And honestly, it's got to be jasmine. I wanted something much brighter in there. And having a little extra paint to go on the edge of the canvas won't hurt my feelings a bit. Got one edge covered. I like it. The cross shape is a classic design. Just want to get that right up to the edge. That edge, that canvassy edge. And since it's contemporary art, you know, if you throw a little flex of this or that, even if you splattered a toothbrush and added dots, it'd still be pretty cool. But I think I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to take a little bit of that paint. All right, I'm not sure that was my best move, but it's, it's a move I made, so there we go. I want something brighter. I've got passion. I didn't really think there was that there, there were that many things brighter than. Is it going to come out? It helps if I open the top all the way. When my timer goes off, it's only a 16-minute mark, and it's to keep me aware of how much time I'm using before my camera shuts off. That's a little better. I kind of want some more Chantilly lace. just to change up what's in there and where is the indigo violet there it is same thing I want some drama I could use a little bit of the Prussian violet which I got out to use and then forgot all about if it'll come out yes it will Prussian violet is I believe a primary element Spatula is basically just a really large palette knife, in, in my inexperienced opinion, or experienced opinion. Now I have to decide what goes in that last square. And also I'm going to knock off whatever I've got that needs to be knocked off. And I had room for more paint. It was looking pretty thin. I was going to have to go back later and add a little more. I didn't know until I looked. All right, so I'm thinking yellow. I might be crazy. I'm gonna throw my spatula in the bucket because yellow and purple will make nasty. 
so sorry about that. I'm not sure when my camera shut off. I think my timer is broken. It def definitely didn't go off and it made a funny, funny noise before we started. Here's some more Royal Sapphire. I'm kind of still playing with adding different marks and different colors and contemplating whether I want to mess with the texture at all. And taking chances and using residual paint on my spatula. And trying to not be too f afraid of the glop that could be <laughs> right around my corner. I want a little more red-violet there. And a little more jasmine. Oh, I got a dot. I never did put any of the poinsettia in. Maybe I did. Maybe I put a little bit of poinsettia in. I do. I really like the texture and the added, the colors on my spatula. That is not acceptable though. Bubble? I never get bubbles with a spatula. I want to do something similar over here. What am I going to do? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I've got some turquoise. The same turquoise I used, phalo turquoise. Vivid Intense. Put it right on top of the residual colors that I had on my canvas, excuse me, on my spatula, doing it again. Do I really want, I'm going to put the Fandango in again. And I'm just going to use my spatula. Like some people use balloons, I am a spatula person. If I'm going to interrupt drying paint with something sticky. And this is mostly at this point to add texture. But I've got to be careful because I really don't want to drag any of the paint off the canvas like right there. Now, I was talking about using a little bit of Midnight Shadow and I'm still inclined. Now, if I do that, okay, I'm putting it right on the spatula in a very, very thin line. And using the residuals to add some it sort of feels like dimension to me when I do that, so I'm going to call it dimension. I'm going to steal a little paint from over here and allow the paint that's on my spatula to meld and mix and create drama and contrast. The Chantilly lace or some similar base layer under there. That kind of looked cool. Like a landscape over in that corner for a second. I didn't really have any idea in advance that I was going to want to do all this. But since I'm here and you're here, I might as well enjoy myself. And what else? I think... Some more jasmine and some more saffron. And I might use my residuals over here if I wipe the rest of them off. 
It's a good idea as long as you're doing what I'm doing and you have Joe Sonia varnish in, although some of that paint could go over there on that edge and help me out. And I kind of like the stripey effect. <laughs> That's kind of neat. It reminds me that I never use black and white, and I like black and white. And I could put black and white, but it might ruin what's going on, so I better be careful. Not get too frisky. I want more jasmine, though. And maybe a little Chantilly lace. Just a few dots, like that. There, now I've got some real texture. That's cool. That's not cool. That just messed me all up. So that's plum blossom. And this is jasmine again. I'm going to put a little bit of... I can't squeeze that out of there. I'm going to put a little bit of saffron in there. Try and fix my faux pas. I'm having trouble doing it. Well, it's going to be an interesting texture, that's for sure. That's what I was after, and that's what I got. Which I'm a little sad about, but I'll get over. As soon as I stop messing around. But, like I said, I got GAC 800, so. Of course, I had to go and stick my fingernail in it, too. <laughs> I'm just getting making matters worse and worse. Better a balloon at this point. It's still pretty cool though. I kind of want to put some yellow in there now. I should not mess with that anymore. She said as she messed with it one more time and proved her point. That's Orange Crush. <laughs> All right, how many lessons did I learn today? <laughs> I have to learn it's okay to put texture in things way before things get super sticky. I'm not sure I'm in love with that schmutz there. And although it's a risk, I'm going to use some poinsettia to distract the eye. Yeah, I should have called it done like five minutes ago. Oh well, never mind. I still like it. Except for that. Now I like it more. 
All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure to check my link tree for my links. Like Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. I'm not sure. I wish I hadn't had made that a little bit lighter. I'm not sure which way is best up. Let's see which way I like it. I like it that way. And I don't need to turn it around. Because I've turned my I, my editing around. It's got nice shimmer to it. It's also got something in the paint. Which I hope I can get out without leaving a big mark. Which evidently I cannot. So we'll just make it obvious. I might blow on that with a straw. It is. It's texture. <laughs> it's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right. This seems to look a lot better in person than it does in the, in the monitor. So hopefully somebody will be able to see that and I'll get a good picture of it. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Whatever, whatever I forgot you'll see in another video and uh, I've put notes on the end screen so check it out. Thank you for the donations through PayPal and um, donations are you can make donations through the PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube channel banner or if you so choose you can become a member and have access to 150-ish uh, members only library uh, videos. Can't talk right now. Uh, questions are encouraged. My community board will show you if tomorrow's video is playing tomorrow. <laughs> My email address is easpb in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you being here. I hope you come again. I post at 10.15 most days. And if I feel like I need to do something else to this, I'll do it tomorrow. For now, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll see you all anon. Priscilla out.